schools, dependent school system for the National Geography Bee, and I live in Heidelberg, Germany. Behind me, you can see Heidelberg, two of Heidelberg's famous landmarks, the Heidelberg Castle and the Carl Theodore Bridge, or the Old Bridge. Heidelberg Castle was built between 15, 1400 and 1540, and the Old Bridge was built between 1786 and 1788. As you can see, Heidelberg is a very beautiful city and is situated on, on the Neckar River in the Neckar River Valley. standing in Karl Fox, one of several squares in Heidelberg. It is named after Karl Theodor, the most famous French selector of Heidelberg. Behind me you can see the beginning of the Hauptstrasse, which means Main Street in Germany. It is a purely pedestrian area now, and it is one of the longest in Germany. It, Karl Fox is another one of many places to get a great view of Heidelberg. We are now standing on the Hauptstrasse, which is home to many restaurants and shops. We are also standing at the edge of the marked spot, which means market square. As you can see, the open air restaurants and cafes are a favorite of residents and tourists of Heidelberg. You can also see the one of two cathedrals in Heidelberg, the Church of the Holy Ghost. Now we'll walk a little bit down, farther down the Hauptstrasse to the old town. See the old town. Behind me is the Stadthalle, which is used for concerts occasionally during the year. It is also used for the local Department of Defense High School's graduation. At Heidelberg, you will also find Germany's oldest university. Heidelberg University was established in the early 1300s. Behind me, you can see the university library. Inside, you will find some of Europe's most rare and valuable books. So, Will, how do you remember all these various facts about geography? Well, I just kind of read and remember them. I don't know how. So, in your studies, what uh, is one of the most unique facts that you've come across, or interesting facts? Well, I find it very interesting that China has more English speakers than the U.S. But Will, if you, someone were to give you a free ticket to anywhere in the world, where would you go, and what would you do while you were there? Well, if someone gave me a free ticket to anywhere in the world, I would go to St. Petersburg, Russia, because I'm very interested in Russian history and culture, and it's represents the westernization of Russia and is the most it is the most western city in Russia in architecture. Um, while I was there, if I were there, first I would go to the Winter Palace, which is now an art museum, and look at the art there. Then I would go to the Peter and Paul Fortress, which was the main fortress Peter the Great built there to protect the the um, harbor that he captured from the Swedes. And then I would go to the Church of the Savior on Spilled Blood, which is a church that was built on the site where Alexander II was, Sir Alexander II was assassinated. Sounds like a very interesting trip. So if you were made world leader of the world for a day, what problem would you try and solve and why? If I were in charge of the world for a day, I would try and solve the world energy problem. And I would do that by gathering the world's greatest minds and coming up with the most effective, effective and inexpensive way of reducing the use of fossil fuels and increasing the use of alternatives like wind, solar, and hydroelectric power. And by also increasing the use of biofuels inst instead of fossil fuels.